guys, it's Dami, and today I'm going to be doing a product review on a vegan energy bar by Brisk Bars. It's 70% dark chocolate and coconut flakes. And uh, I got four of these bars, free of charge, to review. And uh, I was really excited because I started to incorporate a lot of vegan dishes and snacks and stuff into my diet um, starting last year, 2015. And um, I, I guess I was just really, really excited about the promotion because I have tasted um, some really, really, really delicious um, vegan snacks like cupcakes. Um, when was it? I went to some uh, festival. It was in downtown. And um, I, I kind of happened to just walk by and I saw these tents up. And when I see tents and booths, I think food. And I was like, oh, barbecue. You know, maybe they'll have some, like a pork plate or something. Um, but no, it was actually a vegan festival. And um, I was really excited because I've never been to a vegan festival. I've seen vegan foods in the supermarket. I've passed by vegan booths like on the side of the street or, um, you know, if I go to my farmer's market. But to actually be at a festival where everything is vegan, I was really excited. Um, so, of course, the first thing that I ran to was the cupcake table because I'm not into the vegan, you know, meats. Like, you're not about to get me to eat tofurkey and all that weird stuff. That's just not happening. Um, but anyway, I went to um, the booth where they had cupcakes and stuff, and they had samples, of course. So I tried, um, there was a chocolate cupcake, and then one was like carrot and vanilla. It was something, I forgot, but it was so good. And in my opinion, vegan cupcakes taste more like brownies because of the texture. That's just my opinion, but they were really, really good. So I was really excited um, that I was chosen for this promotion of the vegan um, brisk bars. So, um, this is the product, by the way, okay? And like I said, I did get four of these. Now, they, this is the only flavor that they currently have, okay? Which is the dark chocolate and coconut. Um, so, what did I think about the product? I was not a big fan. I, I really, really was not a big fan, honestly. Um, I'm not a big coconut fan, however, um, I noticed lately a lot of desserts such as, um, there's like a coconut, um, a coconut protein shake or something, and I didn't think I'd like it because I was like, oh, I hate coconut, and it was actually really good. Um, coconut muffins, anything, like I, I'm starting to, uh, you know, really like the taste of coconut and a lot of snacks and, and drinks and stuff. So I figured I'd give this a try. And, you know, I don't mind dark chocolate. I actually um, started eating a lot more dark chocolate when I stopped putting sugar in my coffee. I don't know what it is, but if you stop putting sugar in your coffee and you can drink your coffee black, you're going to probably end up liking dark chocolate because it's just, the taste is just really good. So anyway, um, so anyway, I tried this, like I said, and the first bite was absolutely horrible. I was like, what is going on? This is disgusting. But um, a lot of vegan products are like that. The first bite is not always appetizing. And so I was like, well, you know, I'll go ahead and just take some more bites. I got through half of it. I'm going to tell you that was a really, really, really bad experience, okay? Um, the taste just, it, it left a really bad aftertaste. It was um, very bitter, and it only has four grams of sugar. However, in this case, I think there should be eight grams of sugar, 10, 16 something, because it's very, very bitter. Um, not a big fan of it. So I decided to let my husband try it because he actually loves coconut. He loves coconut anything, coconut pie, coconut cream, whatever. He loves coconut. So I let him try it. He loves chocolate too. So he loves chocolate. So I was like, this is right up his alley. Um, he didn't like it either. He was grossed out. He took one bite and was like, that's disgusting. Don't do, ever do that to me again. Um, so yeah, it, I just wasn't a fan of these. Now, like I tell you guys, I always read reviews on these products before I do any of my blog posts or my videos. And there are a lot of people who do love this. So think just because I don't like this does not mean you're, you're, um, not gonna like it. There's a lot of people um, that wrote very good reviews on this. They probably love coconut. They probably are accustomed to eating very bitter snacks. I'm not. So um, now, as far as it giving me a boost of energy, I honestly did not see a significant difference. However, I was only able to eat half. Um, 
And so, you know, everybody's body is different. Some people could probably eat half of this and just be off the wall. Some people may need one or two bars. So, you know, really it just depends. Somebody like me, I probably need to. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really care for the taste, but I would say this, the texture of this is amazing. Um, I assumed when I first saw this, it would be really kind of like crunchy, more like a, a chocolate bar. It's actually kind of soft. It's not too chewy. It's not too, um, you know, hard. It's actually perfect. The texture is perfect. They just have to come up with some more, um, you know, uh, 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 what you call it, um, ingredients or whatever. They, they need new, new flavors, new flavors. Okay. Because I can't, I can't, I can't do the dark chocolate and, and coconut. I just, I can't. It was really bad. It was really, 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 really bad to me. Um, I like, I love chocolate. I'm more of a milk chocolate person, but I can, I can stand dark chocolate. Um, and uh, by the way, I did try this with coffee. I think in one of the things it says to have this with maybe some coffee or something, maybe espresso, whatever. Um, and actually it says it's stronger than one espresso, which honey, yes, this is stronger than an espresso. I can down an espresso before I eat this. Um, but yeah, I actually tried this with a cup of coffee because I said, you know, sometimes you got to pair things and, and, and it didn't work. So um, I probably suggest maybe a milk chocolate with like almonds or something like that. Um, that's more my style. I think that's, that's, that would taste really good. And like I said, the texture of this was excellent. So I, I feel like they don't need to change the texture. They just need to come out with more flavors, more and more flavors. Um, and, and I think, you know, so many people are into coconut now, coconut everything until that's, you know, when somebody makes something, I've noticed a trend. Whenever people are making um, any type of products, whether it's beauty products, um, health products, or, you know, even like snack products, their, their first flavor always usually happens to be something with coconut. And um, I, I always think if you come out, you should probably make two different things. Maybe one coconut for people who like that coconut dark chocolate taste, and, and one like with milk chocolate and almonds or, or um, you know, pe pecans or something. I don't know, but um, not not this. This was this was bad. And, I, and I'm going to tell you, I've actually had, um, there, there were vegan bars, and it did have, they had a hint of coconut in it. And that's why I thought I'd probably really like that because I don't I don't remember the name of it. I really don't. But I did have them. They weren't energy bars. They were just like um, health bars and stuff like that. They weren't energy bars or anything. But um, they had coconut in it. And the coconut was not, um, it, it, I guess it wasn't as potent for one. Um, and it, it actually had a nice, nice flavor. It was not too much. It was perfect. You tasted the chocolate more. It had a little more sugar, which this needs. Um, but yeah, so that's why I figured I'd really like this, but I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't like this. Um, I'm not saying I won't buy this. The next flavor that they come out with, hopefully it doesn't have coconut in it. Um, I would buy it. I'd buy it. If they, even if they did like caramel or something, I'd buy it. Now the dark chocolate and the caramel, I can definitely, definitely get down with that. Um, but yeah, and uh, just to go through this, because I know everybody's like, well, what's in it? That's the first thing people think of. I mean, honestly, that's the first thing that um, I did when I received this. So, ingredients. Desiccated coconut. Take off my glasses, because they're for far distance. Um, pea protein crisp. Brown rice flour. Rice bran. Chicory root fiber. Seeds, sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, sesame seed, brown rice syrup, organic 70% dark chocolate, um, organic unsweetened chocolate, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, whole grain brown rice protein, cocoa processed with alkali, water, guarana, whatever that is, grape juice concentrate, rice syrup, there's a lot of rice stuff in here, um, maca, brown rice, Sunflower oil, agar, and then natural flavor. Um, and then in here it says maca, which grows, okay, here we go, which grows in the mountains of Peru, is known to reduce tiredness and stress, 
Guarana berries, native to Brazil, have a stimulating effect due to their high caffeine content. Risk bars should keep you alert and focused without artificial ingredients. So, and this even says the effects of the guarana and maca will vary according to the individual. So that's a little history lesson on two ingredients that I've never heard of and you probably never heard of before. Um, so if you ever see them, you know they're, they're going to supposedly keep you alert. Um, but anyway, that's my review of the brisk bars. Again, I actually received four of these. And um, actually, one of my friends, I gave this to her and... She wasn't a big fan, but she said it was not bad, and she actually drank this with um, hot cocoa, um, and and she said it tastes good with her hot cocoa. So maybe I will try this out with my hot cocoa, but the coconut is just too strong for me. That's just the main thing. It's not the dark chocolate. It's the, the coconut. It's too much. Um, but, yeah, so that's my review of um, the Brisk Bars. Wake your senses, okay? So, um, either way, I will be putting the link at the bottom of this video if you guys want to go ahead and get you some off Amazon or whatever. Um, and if you guys have any more questions, feel free to um, ask me. And um, I'm definitely going to be, you know, keeping an eye on this company because I'm, I'm definitely excited to see what new flavors um, that they come out with, and I, I will definitely try their new flavors. Um, I'm hoping it's milk chocolate, though. I really am. I, I love milk chocolate. Um, but anyway, so that's my review. Um, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.